Hi all, this is a Ryobi power tool 18 volt battery. This is not the original one, but this is a clone from AliExpress. I bought two of them. One is better and this one a hold less charge, let's say. Okay, and now I'm curious to see what protection circuit inside and which cell they are using. So let's try to open this one and see what we got. The original battery is very expensive and this is why and also I don't think they sell them on AliExpress and in my country it is a little difficult to ship these things so most of the seller does not ship so I need to find a solution this is the best solution that I got so first it's very easy to open it this is the first time I'm opening it the quality I have to admit it looks pretty nice because how can I tell because I see the surface and the surface on the PCB are uh, let's say are wide enough to transfer the charge from the battery to the output uh, this is I see so this is the LED and this is how you can see the capacity Wow, pretty easy to take everything apart just need to remove those clips and yeah 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 they done it pretty good I have to admit because very easy to insert it to the box and now we can see all the cells I'm not familiar which kind of cells these are but I will probably put new cells instead of these cells uh, I don't see any marking I will try to disassemble the cells of course I will take a picture and then I will rebuild this battery another thing you can see is that here you have dual MOSFET that is probably transferring the power output and there is a big heatsink in order to be able to supply a high current out this is nice another thing you can see there is marking on the PCB on each voltage so it's very easy to understand how to connect this back and these are of course the balancing wires so we have all the balancing and this is the main connection main positive and main negative so pretty nice job they did and just the capacity of these cells is not so good so what I will do of course I will insert brand new cells and then assemble everything back and hopefully I will get much better results because the protection and the BMS is pretty impressive and I can say that I can trust this battery by the builds that I see so I will just replace so we have one two three four five ten cells ten cells and connected pretty well and everything looks good to me so I rebuilt it pack it again and I will have a new battery and I don't need to order because I have a good cells to replace a Sony or, or any other good cells that I can insert instead of this so thank you for now and bye